Okay, Ken Weller with New Tech Inventors here, and the race is on between the ANET ET4 and the Ender 3. So, what we've done, we've taken the Ender 3 and my ANET ET4, I set them both up, leveled them and everything, and then what we've done we're using the same identical filament on each one. We're using the same G-code file. So these printers are both printing the same identical part with the same identical filament and with the same settings. In other words, the same temperatures, the same infill everything is identical and we started this printer we started the reality first and gave it it had about a minute maybe two minutes max head start before i came over and started the same print job on the a net so what we're doing we're going to wait and see these should be finishing up in a few minutes. I think the print time, let me slip over here and look at the computer. Print time was two hours and 29 minutes. Two hours and 30 minutes. And like I said, I took the same file and put it on both printers. So we're going to, first of all, see if they actually print at the same rate and if they do then this reality should end and finish its print about a minute to two minutes before the ANET ET4 and you can see we're getting real close here on both of them from what I can see so far, it looks to me like the quality is very good. When I talked about doing this the other day, I think I said that I felt that they would run neck and neck in a comparison. And it looks like that may be the case. But as soon as it's finished printing, we'll pull them off and take a look at them and see how they, how they did. One reason I'm doing this is because the Ender 3 is a very popular printer. A lot of them have it. It's a very good printer. However, the people have questioned the ANET printers and the quality of them. And I'm trying to assure everybody that the ANET printers, especially the ET4 series, are good quality printers. One comment I recently had on the YouTube channel was that that person had heard that the ANETs weren't very reliable. And okay, the ANET just finished printing, which I'm a little surprised because we had identical settings and I started the Ender 3 first so for some reason the ET4 printed the job a little bit faster than the Creality and since I didn't really set my watch I don't know if the slicer estimation of print time was correct or not but it looks like we, we got through the job a little faster on the ANET. Let's let this one, the reality, go ahead and finish printing. It looks like it's real close. It's still got a little bit more time. I may run this test again and actually put a clock on it and see what's going on here. See which one is really printing 
the two hours and 29 minutes that the Kira Slicer software said it would take two hours and 29 minutes. And I started them and went to the house, had supper, and watched TV and everything, then came back down here just in time to see them finish. But I was really expecting the Creality to finish a minute or two before the ANET since it had a head start. So, we'll figure that out later. Another thing too, this printer does have, the ANETs all have thermal runaway protection. They're metal frame. I don't see any fire hazard with them. And in addition to that, one difference between my Ender 3, this, this Creality Ender 3, if you notice, does not have a brake sensor, filament brake sensor, whereas on the ANET, you can see it has the filament brake sensor here. Now, I do like the control on the Ender 3. I like it because it has a little bit larger display. We'll give that a second. Let this guy go ahead. He's, he's getting close to finishing. I'm printing on the glass bed on this one. And I'm printing on the textured glass bed that came with the Creality. When printing on these glass beds, you get real good adhesion. And once they cool down, the parts will just pop right off. So I'm going to go ahead and let it cool down. As you saw just a second ago, I tried to take it loose there and it's still stuck on pretty good. But I'll show you how easy it will come off when it cools down. Glass bed, pretty good printing on a glass bed. I'm not going to give that up entirely. I've gone to some PEI sheets. I like the PEI sheets for certain parts. But on some of the larger parts, the PEI is good, especially if you get a little bit too much adhesion. I've never had trouble getting a part off of the glass bed. Still waiting on this guy to finish over here. By the way, if you wonder why it's quiet, it's Friday night. Uh, as I mentioned before, I don't print on weekends. I may do some tests. Without the printers running, it's a little cooler than normal in here. It looks like we're at about 68 degrees in here, so, so these printers are printing in a cooler environment. Of course, it's pretty cold outside. It's actually snowing outside now when I came down here, some snow falling. I may have turned the heat up a little bit, I guess, because it's so cold outside right now and nothing running. By the way, we're printing these parts at 200 and five degrees for the hot end and 60 degrees on the bed. Wanted everything to be even because like I said in the last video, this was gonna be a little dry grease between these two printers to see which one did the best job. And it looks like speed-wise the ANET so far, but we want to take the parts off, compare them, look at the quality, see if there's any stringing, any difference in texture, ripples, or anything like that. Just from the naked eye looking at them now, they, they both look like they're good. Another thing about these two printers, they both have 24 volt power supplies. They heat up the bed, hot end, a short period of time. Uh, this thing's not hot now. It's warm, but it's cooled down. And parts popping right off now. So, feeling the edges. Everything feels real smooth. The corners are smooth. 
No stringing or anything in here. Looks like a really good quality part. Won't ever be a production part because we don't print these parts in white. Oh, here we go. We just finished reality. Okay. What took you so long? Well, that one popped right off. That concerns me a little bit. The adhesion wasn't that good on this bed. It was enough to keep it from coming loose during the printing. But if you notice on the A net, I couldn't hardly get the part off at all until the glass bed cooled down. On the Creality, on this surface, it popped off before it cooled down. Okay, I'm feeling this one. Everything, it feels pretty smooth. Now, that was the A net, this was the ender. Let me try to inspect these things and really look close for any differences. I can't see any difference in the parts. It looks like the quality of the part printed on the Ender 3 is just as good as the quality of the part printed on the ANET. So Ender 3, ANET, ANET prints a little faster than the Ender 3 which I don't understand, but I'm going to look into that and see if I can figure out why the ANET did this 2 hour and 29 minute print job finished about 6 or 7 minutes before the end of 3. But other than that, that's it for the actual print comparison. I told you a little bit about these printers. If you have an Ender 3, you've got a good printer. If you have an ANET ET4, you've got a good printer. The ANET has all of the power supply, control board, and everything enclosed in this case, where on the Ender 3, the power supply is on the side, uh, the control is up here, and then your board and everything is over here so things are split up a little bit more on the Ender 3 where they're all contained in one area inside this case on the AMET. I kind of like that a little bit better than having the parts or components separated like that. Just I think it's a cleaner look and uh, like that a little bit better. But I guess I'm a little partial once you have the ANET and some of you out there that have them, I hope you know what I'm talking about, but I have a lot of them and as you can see, I have plenty of them, both the ET4X, ET4s, ET4 Pros, the longer you have them, the more you love them, I guess, but I can't say enough good things about them. And the same thing with the Tronic CXY2 Pros also. Well, we're braving the cold and snow to come down here to the print farm to do this video for you guys. So I hope you appreciate it. In the meantime, happy printing from snowy East Tennessee and new tech inventors.